Alright, what's going on guys? This is Maneliki and welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris as the Squawk Confederacy. We just concluded our war with the Finu Hierarchy. We're in the process of harnessing their resources. And it looks like we've got some terraforming liquids right over here. So we should probably get a construction ship on the case. And get those. Now... What to do next? I think, uh, where's our feather force at? Here they are. And where's our transports at? Where are the transports at? Right there. Okay, great. So they're all merged up together. That's good. So we should have a science ship uh, doing all the surveying. Okay, he's looking at the debris. That's good. So I think our next move, we're going to go ahead and have our feather force smash down these ancient mining drones because they're kind of in our way. Um... And I also, we're going to start colonizing more of these worlds. Now that they're within the borders of our, uh, our little sectors here, I think we're going to just colonize them and let our sectors deal with them. Uh, so that's kind of kind of cool. Uh, yeah, that we have a lot of really nice colonizable worlds all of a sudden. Holy gee, I never really noticed. Everything's up at 80 and 70. Holy crap. Okay, well, you know what that means is we're going to uh, have Bluke start manufacturing, like mass producing uh, the colony ships. So you're going to take a break from cruiser production. What do we want? Fanatic scene file. Fanatic pacifist. Well, I'd rather go with the fanatic scene files. Yeah colony ship it up we want lots of worlds now there is a penalty to uh, there is a penalty of course to technology research um, the more planets you own but I'm actually not concerned with it Get a whole bunch of colony ships going because we want to colonize all those friggin' worlds, every one of them. <laughs> colonize all the things. Okay, that'll do for now. In the meantime, let's go ahead and crush the ancient mining drones. Might get some interesting tech from that. Now. Have an idle construction ship here, which is never a good thing. Looks like we've already done some harnessing now. Uh, we only have. Oh no, both of our science ships are busy. That's good. That's very good. Okay. Yeah, okay, I guess we already queued it up. Okay, that's good. So we'll let that happen. All these other little fleets, I think, will merge up. Hostile fleet engaged. Debris analyzed. Great. Well, physics, engineering. How's our science doing? Anyway? Okay, we've almost got Situation the Xenozoo. Updated. Almost got that Xenozoo. Okay, cool. So we killed them. Surprise, surprise. Uh, let's go ahead and kill that station. Hostile fleet engaged. Research complete. Perfect. All right, feathers of olive. We could atmospheric manipulation, colonization of tomb worlds. Uh, that's pretty cool. Leader cap, that's always good. Uplift. Let's go for tomb world colonization. Yep. Let's give ourselves more options to colonize stuff because that's one of the bonuses we picked when we created this race. We wanted super epic uber colonization potential. And that should die fairly quickly. Okay. Situation log updated. Perfect. So, destruction ship. You got nothing. What about you? Mm, nothing local to take advantage of, sadly. Okay. Recruitment of armies is finished. Analyzed. Okay. Merge them up in a bit. 
Physics research, okay. Pretty good. Sadly, uh, our engineering has stalled out because he's too busy analyzing stuff. The debris. Which is unfortunate. So now, I think since our army is in the, uh, or our fleet rather, is in the, the area anyways, I think, oh, look at this. I didn't even notice that. That must have been that little peace symbol that popped up two seconds. I didn't see it. Okay. So we don't have to worry about, uh, was it the Finu hierarchy? Yeah, the Finu hierarchy. We don't got to worry about them no more. They've been absorbed by the birds. So this is going to be our first, quote unquote, hard <laughs> fight. I still think we're going to, uh, good, good. Okay, that's lovely. What did you make? What did you make me? I don't care about the factions or the observations or the sectors. What did you get? Uh, we didn't build the nest ship yet. Let's build some more colony ships. Oops. Uh, yeah, this guy. That should take a little while. Okay, he built another uh, thing. Okay, good. We'll send this guy... Actually, you know what? Here, we'll be a little smart. We'll send this guy down to he here to guard guard against the uh, the counterattacks. Maybe help us out in the war a little bit. So here's what we're going to do. Oh, look. A tropical world, 80%. How lovely. Let's go ahead and take that. Hey, what's this symbol? That little eye symbol? Huh? Oh, it's just because I'm looking at it? It's kind of strange. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and declare war on these guys. And we will take these three at least, hopefully. And then maybe those two. That's a lot of worlds they got. That's a strong empire. They are, however, quite inferior to us. They got superior tech, which is hilarious. We don't care. We got the numbers. Okay. We want Gratil. We'll take that. Regin. Anything in Regin? And Hazra. Okay, Hazra. And. There's Regin. So Gratil, Regin, Hazra. Let's just make sure there's nothing else from there. Oops. A little too fast. Um, okay, that doesn't look like it. Okay, let's continue to push left. Amlitzer, let's go for Amlitzer. We're gonna take as big a bite out of these guys as we possibly can. Amlitzer. Not really looking at the planet names, just looking at the system names. Akadan. All right, that's a that's a proper war. We're gonna pfft, eat that whole thing. They have no allies, which is perfect. So uh, let's just make sure that our transport fleet is still following the Feather Force, and it is. So that's perfect. Uh, okay, so now, Feather Force, you're going to not worry about those drones. You're going to go all the way over here and start picking on Grad Hill or whatever. Now, what the hell? How am I doing that? Do we have jump drives? Have I just not been paying attention? Like, do we have jump drives? No, we have warp drives. So how are we making that jump? But I don't get it. We're not supposed to be able to do that. We're using, uh, or no, we're using warp drives. For some reason, I thought we were using hyperlanes. Hence our ability to see the hyperlanes. I, that's confusing. I could have sworn we were using, oh, maybe we're using warp drives. I guess I haven't been paying much attention to my own game all, all this time. 7% uh, failure risk. Do it. Okay, we're losing all kinds of energy because we are at war. 
It's okay though. All right, let's go to it. Let's do this thing. Well, it's good to know that we're using warp drives. That's much more helpful at this point. Hostile fleet engaged. Debris analyzed. Hostile fleet good. engaged. Good. Good. Situation log updated. Hostile fleet engaged. Mummified pilot. The mummified remains of a single individual belonging to a previously unknown mammalian species have been found drifting in high orbit over Mendog 2. The being is dressed in what appears to be a flight suit complete with a helmet and maybe a fighter pilot that ejected some ancient battle only to be forgotten and left behind. <laughs> Our study of the course has provided some interesting data. Okay, here, here we go again. So we have 150 points into engineering, which we will not receive. Or maybe we will. Two eight three nine four. No, we didn't get it. Unless it applied before we looked at that. I, I feel like I've looked at that before, and it's a bit of a bug. You don't actually get the bonus, which is unfortunate. Or maybe it's just when you're res when you're looking into uh, debris or something that you definitely don't get it. All right. Well. Situation log updated. Well, station put up quite a fight, but it wasn't enough, of course. Let's go ahead and blockade that. Alright, bomb the living hell out of that planet. Hostile fleet detected. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, noes. Goodbye. So land our armies. Did I click that right? Land armies. Oh, whoops, we're paused. Whoops. <laughs> uh, okay, where are we at here? 50? Oh, he's trying to backstab. See, this is why we have this guy. Uh, we're going to have him. There we go. The second murder is going to go murder those guys. Alright, it should be a freaking slaughter. Enemy planet secured. There we go. <laughs> Actually he can he can trail behind and guard what we're killing. That's what we're gonna do. Alright, let's go for Hazra. Yeah. How about these guys? How are they doing? Oh, he's bugging out. It's okay, he's getting it chased. <laughs> I don't think he'll get too, too much done being chased like that. Oh, several xeno-anthropologists from Blue have returned to the surface of Apollon Prime. After spending a great deal of time living among the subterranean aliens native to that world, oh yeah, they have learned much about their ancient ways and customs, which will no doubt benefit society research. Hell yeah. Once again, society research. Did we get it? Who knows? But, uh... Yeah, who knows. But, whatever. We'll trust in the game not being buggy. Okay, so you go ahead and do that. You just follow them. Because that's what you do. Second murder. Is he chasing that one fleet around? What's this now? Okay, our scientist died at the age of 84. Alright, let's get a new one in here. Uh, okay. Research speed. Anomaly, failure risk minus 10. Uh, we don't care. Uh, unless, wait, what do we need them for? 
Physics. Okay, is there any physics people here that we can use? No. 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 Well, actually, right now we're, we're researching field manipulation. So what if we... What if we put... There we go. Now we need an engineer. That should help. Uh, we don't have one. So he can... Surface speed. Uh, anomaly research speed. Psionics. Let's just get this guy. And he can do that. Get the bonus. Switch people around. Okay. See how our boys are doing. System survey complete. Okay, Mendoc has been surveyed. That's good. Okay, so he's going. Uh, this guy's bored, so he needs to survey that. Oh, we'll search the projects first and then survey it. Actually, no. Research and then research and then survey. Yeah. That's how we'll do it. What's he doing? Hostile fleet engaged. Already catch up to him finally. It was his little Corvette. I wonder why he's not shooting. Get him. Situation log updated. <laughs> okay, so this guy is now going to where the hell did you end up? Damn. Alright, let's put you back over here. For that reason right there. Those transports are going for the backstab. They're gonna try and uh take this planet back. I sincerely hope that they will fail. Where's my guys? Yes, they will fail. Get on them bastards. Ha! Well, that worked out pretty good. Okay, so that's ready to be invaded. Let's do that. Oh no, you can't run. Maybe you can, but we'll try and prevent that. And that should be quite the slaughter. Fleet engaged. Enemy planet secured. Debris analyzed. I'm just trying to see if they situation log update. They make it out. No, they got slaughtered. Oh, that's good. Okay, so we'll put one ship incoming. Hostile fleet engaged. Hostile fleet engaged. Yeah, you can guard this system. Okay. Hostile so. fleet engaged. Yeah, it's a lot of hostile fleets being engaged here. Right, let's go up to Regin. Let's do that. We'll make sure our transports are following. Situation log updated. Here they come. Sending individual transports. <laughs> ah, these guys. These guys. Situation log updated. Maybe I'll just hold off. You know what? I'll split the fleet. We don't need all this. We don't need all of this. Here's all I'll split that. You can remain behind. And you. Okay, I got promoted. Okay. What is this? The uh, third murder? Okay, you guys, just first of all, stop. Merge. There we go. Now, Feather Force can move on to here. Situation log updated. Yep, they're trying it. They're trying it. And it ain't gonna happen. Hostile fleet engaged. You will not have your worlds back. I still fighting. What are you even fighting? Oh, this guy.
<laughs> okay. Let's get on that. Rapid dominance is how we're doing this. At least that's how we're trying. Hostile fleet engaged. Yeah. Situation log updated. <laughs> yeah, that's a painful loss for them. Situation log updated. Ah, they're just running. That's okay though. There's tech that prevents the enemies from running from you. But we don't have it just yet, of course. Anomaly found. Uh oh. Let's research that anomaly. Looks like there's an asteroid headed our way. Alright. Bomb the hell out of this. How are these guys doing? Hostile fleet engaged. You guys, man, you guys. Enemy planet secured. Nice. I haven't actually found their main fleet yet, which disturbs me. Uh, so I guess we will continue on here. We'll leave dudes behind, of course. And we'll split that again. So how does this work? What is this? The uh, merge these guys up. There we go. Now you guys can follow those guys, and you can come to Emitzer. Okay, we got lots of colony ships now, so let's start colonizing these worlds before we forget. Uh, Continental 9? Okay. Let's start prioritizing the good. We don't want to take that one, unfortunately. Because that's within whiny bitches space. Okay, so arid worlds. Yes, that's nice. High gravity, building cost, eh, whatever. We can take it. Uh... Uh, let's see, let's land them. Well, we're going to clear these tire blockers anyway. I'm not super worried about them. We need to land them on food. This planet's going to starve. Uh, unless they... You know... Unless they do it properly. Okay, let's put them here. Sure. Now the uh, AI should be able to deal with that. 21 arid. Let's colonize this one. Oh, that'll be a good spot. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Sure. Ten, twelve, twelve, fifteen. Okay, that's not ours actually. 13, 9, looking for bigger worlds, there's more useful, 10, and a 17 ocean, I like it, oh, there's a, tw well, no, it's not very habitable to us, we're not going to take the tundra, ah, uh, there's two semi-decent worlds here, take them, there, and we will go to our sectors, what is this? Eastern Edge? Eastern Edge, and we're gonna have you eat that. Okay. Now, there's also an arid world here. Let's go ahead and take it. This would be a lovely spot. Okay, uh, there's a nice arid world here, and we're going to put it in the southern reaches. Okay. Um, 
and that will be it here. Tinnick 3, let's go ahead and take that. Mm. There's no food here. That sucks. Well, they're going to have to deal with it. They will just have to figure that out on their own. Okay. You find any really nice ones? Ah, 15 ocean. Meh. Let's see if we can do better than that. 22 ocean. Yeah, we'll take that. Planet has an anomaly. I don't see an anomaly. Gamma Draconis 3. If there's an anomaly, I would love to see it. There's no anomaly. That's too bad. That's a nice world. That's a really cool world. I would have liked that one. Oh well. Moving right along. A nice desert world here. Okay, Xeno Stone Age primitives can't do it. All right, I, I seem to remember that one from before. I think we've looked into that before. Twenty four ocean. Have we already looked at this one? Nope. Looks good. So let's take that right there. Yep. Chetib. Now, Chatib, you're going to be absorbed by, what is this? Aphris Prime? Nope. What's this? Okay. 20 Ocean, is this the one we've already looked at? Nope. Magnetic Field, okay. Whatever. Mass colonization, folks. That's what we're doing. 14 continental, 17, oh, 24 arid, that will be this one, oh shit, I realized I just, ah, I wasn't paying attention, I haven't been doing this right, I think I've been sending the same guy to colonize everything, ah, crap, <laughs> I really wish the interface was a little bit better for that, um, so actually, I don't think we're actually, yeah, so we have one colony ship off to uh, do his thing, and uh, we're going to have to redo that, unfortunately, but uh, we'll have to redo that in the next episode, um, because if we look here, colonize, see, he's moving, they're all just sitting, so I've been sending the same guy, so we're going to have to redo that, I was wondering why I had so many colony ships, it's like, man, I thought I'd be running out by now. <laughs> Ah, well, that was an annoying derp. We'll have to redo that, but anyway, so that'd be a great spot to call it. So, uh, we're just gonna continue biting away at this, uh, at these guys here, the Democratic Mythfell Confederation, while we mass colonize within our own borders. And I see we have some uh, science projects to research, so we'll definitely get on those as well. But uh, in the meantime, we'll uh, we'll cut it there. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. There we go, get wrecked, you bastards.